Hi, Lady Esther here. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about beauty, skincare, and deep thoughts. Today, I'm going to be discussing a couple of things. First, hooray, over 500 subscribers. And then second, I'm going to go over my empties. If you're interested in this today, please stick around. Do you ever feel like your feet are stuck in the mud? That's why I like turtles and snails, because they're slow. Oh, and slo sloths. Sometimes I feel like I can't move, literally. And, oh, the sun's coming out. It's really pretty. Um, the half the day is gone. It took me apparently half the day to get ready to film this video. A simple video where I'm not demonstrating products or putting on makeup, but here we are. So, first of all, I just want to say that um, I'm using the YSL over, I put an additional moisturizer. Sorry, I, I'm looking at the monitor over here and like I'm kind of distracted. So, I'll try to focus on the camera. So, because I put a different moisturizer for my skincare regimen, or I could be wrong, it could be the YSL, it's like peeling in this area. It may look good for the camera, looking at the monitor here. So it may look good enough for the camera, but up close there's some peeling here that's annoying that I didn't notice before when I was wearing this YSL. Um, so that's one thing. I'm wearing the Hummingbird palette again, the Cool Hummingbird palette from Shantikai. So anyway, um, I feel like my camera angle is too... Okay, if I stand right here, it's better. Okay, sorry. I'm really sometimes fidgety and distracted apparently. So I just want to thank everybody who's been supporting me in my channel. Um, the other day I hit 500 subscribers. I think I'm at 502 the last time I checked and I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me in this channel and I do plan on doing a giveaway. I was planning on doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers but I'm very particular about how I like to follow rules and I'm still working on all of my fine print for the giveaway and it's going to be international. So I need to follow the YouTube rules so that's a big deal. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. This is a hobby right now. It takes quite a while to get monetized on YouTube. It takes I think is it 4,000 watch hours? I think it's it's a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours before you get monetized. And when you get monetized, I believe you only get like two or three cents for per thousand views. So that's not you have to have a lot of views and stuff to start earning really anything so but I'm I'm looking forward to that and then I don't have any affiliate links because that's the other thing too I don't qualify for any affiliate marketing programs now because I don't have enough subscribers so anyway that's where we are with that but I appreciate everybody's support and again I enjoy this hobby right now it was psychology and then it was soap making what was it before? Well, if I can think about it in chronological order, I'll write it down and let you know if you're interested. But I did enjoy psychology. So let's get back, uh, let's get to the empties and for people who don't really care about my rambling, I'm going to do a timestamp to this por portion when I start talking about the empties and Anyway, so here, this is not really a pretty looking container right now, but, and it's, it's not empty, but that's because I already bought, I already repurchased it. 
and I put the refill, I use the container, and I put the refill, and it's the L'Occitan um, Shower Oil. So it the jar thing doesn't look very pretty right now, but I really recommend it. Like I didn't know what I was buying. I bought it last year to um, to get up to my rouge. I know, silly. But I'm glad I bought it because it was just a little sample. I thought it was shower oil. I, I guess I thought, but because it had the word shower, I thought maybe you used it in the shower. And then I thought, well, maybe it's this oil you put on your body. And I don't, I don't really like that. But it's, it's a soap. I mean, it feels like an oil initially. Then it emulsifies. Um, it doesn't really lather up, but it's, it's a soap. And it, um, it makes your skin really soft. So as you can see, I bought this two times and I got the refill and refilled it up. So this is part of my empties or formerly empty. So, and then I have, I bought this, I don't know, sometime last year. It was the Fresh Sugar Roll-On Deodorant Antiperspirant. It's a deodorant antiperspirant. So I thought it was more like healthy to where it didn't have like aluminum because there's controversy over aluminum but it, it actually does aluminum chlorohydrate 15 percent so I enjoyed this it smells really nice it has the uh, fresh scent it's the iconic scent of fresh sugar I really like the fresh brand so I enjoyed this but it's a roll-on and I find that you know because I find it to be a little bit sticky you know, it works really good, but I actually prefer the aerosol ones. But someday I can find, hopefully I'll be able to find a deodorant that's more healthy, that has better clean ingredients. So this, I won't be repurchasing this at all. And then, let's see. Actually, I didn't, rep I didn't purchase this. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. I got this in a sample. I think I got it from a really good, um, I think it was kind of like a gift with purchase from Nordstrom's. And I, because it says um, gentle liquid formula that cleanses without over drying or stripping for all skin types. So I was skeptical, but this really does a really good job because I have dry skin, dry sensitive skin. So I just repurchased this. I finished this little sample here and I just repurchased this one. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, so like I, I was planning on keeping this in my shower because I have like a facial cleanser in my shower and then on right by my sink. So I use a bunch of different products. So, and then what do we have? The Lumen Valo Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. So this is my first jar. I have repurchased this and I think I talked about this before. I'm kind of partial partial to this because it's from Finland and I'm Finnish and I like it. I, I, I guess I thought it was really like a vitamin C serum, which it does have vitamin C, but I don't think it really has high concentration of vitamin C. I think it does have some. I haven't really done research on on it but it's I, I believe it's more of a, an essence or a serum but I liked it so much I repurchased it so I use this in my skincare routine and then I got let's see this was another I think this was from um, Beautylish good molecules niacinamide brightening toner so I use this up and I was gonna say hmm that it was meh but I've learned that you need certain things for your skin and niacinamide is really important and I think yeah it has vitamin C it has other things like licorice extract and stuff so I think that I will be repurchasing this at some time uh, in some point because it's really affordable and oh, it's kind of out of focus um, it has good ingredients so I'm not going to repurchase it right now because I just bought a couple other toners and I have let's see I have two other 
No, I have at least two other essences. See, that's the problem when you're you're um, doing a beauty channel. You you try a lot of products, and sometimes, I mean, I'm sure you can see all the other people who have like tons and tons of stuff. Pretty much, it's impossible for a lot of them to go through their products before they expire. If you're really paying attention to expiration dates, which I was going to try to, but if if I can't use something up and it's going to expire, I'm going to give it away to someone else who can use it up um, right away. So that's my plan. And there's an airplane. Like airplanes go over our house. And so I don't know if you heard that. Sometimes um, they do that when I'm filming. Hmm. So here is another product that I finished, Avene. Retrin AL 0 0.1 cream intensive, well, intensive cream. Um, and it has retinaldehyde, relastide, and something else I can't pronounce. But basically, this is a retinol. And actually, I was going to do a video on it, this. I bought this because Hot and Flashy recommended it. And it is good. It's, of course, pricey. It's a good product. And... But, like, as far as a lot of things that I use, I can't really tell, like, if they're working. Or maybe I just didn't use them long enough. But I didn't have any irritation with this. I think it's about $70 for one ounce, 30, mil 30 milliliters. So I didn't experience anything bad from it. I think it's a good product, but like I said, I can't really tell. I can't tell if it was working. And... I just wanted to try something else, so I am not going to be repurchasing this, but I'll show you what I bought instead. So I bought the Exuviance Super Retinol Concentrate. It's from the Exuviance brand, which is a good brand. It's related to, or it's a division of Neostrata, I believe. This is made in, made in USA. So this one, I think... Um, this one felt a little bit more like a cream. This feels a little bit, I mean, it is a cream, but this one feels really silicone-y, and I believe it's because it's encapsulated. Let's see. This unique nighttime transformer supercharges the proven power of retinol with neoglucosamine while delivering a gradual time-release infusion of pure po zero point uh, two percent retinol in micro encapsulated form to minimize irritation. So I th I put some on my neck, and I do believe I felt a little bit irritation with this on my neck, but it's fine on my face. And I think I've been using it for a couple months now, but I don't use it every night. I use it a few times a week in the evening. You know, maybe I'm not using it enough, but so I'm still learning about retinol. I have prescription, the prescription strength, the uh, tretinoin, uh, retin A, vitamin A, but that stuff is really, really strong, and I haven't been able to hang with that. I haven't been able to deal with it. It's really, I'm not really liking it. I would rather just go with a retinol, which is not as strong so I'm going to use this up but I am on the lookout for a different retinol um, some of the people of course I like to watch is Hot and Flashy and then um, Elle Leary um, she's a makeup artist and esthetician and she is very knowledgeable about retinol so I need to watch some more of her videos <laughs> anyway okay so um, here's another product that was recommended by somebody. I was going to do products that YouTubers recommended that I didn't like or did like. Anyway, this was recommended by... Who was it recommended by? Her name. Uh, I can't remember her name. But anyway, it's Epiance Gentle Foaming Cleanser. And this one... Yeah, th I think this is part of the reason why I didn't like it. This was for normal to combination skin paraben free gentle foaming cleanser so if you have normal 
to combination skin. You may like this Epience. I believe it's about $30, but I didn't like it at all. It was, my skin didn't like it at all. It's a little bit too drying, but it's probably because I shouldn't have gotten this one. I should have got a different one. So, but the difference is, is this is, the Kiehl's is, in, is, is similar in consistency to the Epiance, but yet this is this doesn't dry out my skin like the Epiance. So this is a no-go for me. I will not be repurchasing purchasing this. So, um, okay, here's another one I didn't buy. I got it for free. I think I got it through the Derm Store. It's Paula's Choice Skin Care Refreshing Moisture Mist, all skin types. So I really like this. This is just a, a mist to spare your skin to give you um, moisture. You can do it in between your skincare steps. The only thing I didn't like about it is, let's see if it's going to spray. No, it's totally out. The spray, a lot of times the sprays aren't very misty. They're, they put like more droplets. So if the spray was better, um, I don't know how much it is. So it's good. I recommend it, but I just wasn't crazy about the spray. This other, I was going to say the other, this other product I used, hold on for a minute, I'll be right back. I guess I'll just talk about two other products uh, because it's kind of relating to like a moisture spray. So this is not really a moisture spray. The Caudalie Beauty Elixir Smoothing Glowing Complexion. A lot of people, let's see, they use it, let's see, shake well before you close your eyes. This is refreshing and I like the way it smells and it's uh, very natural, but the problem with this, I believe this has alcohol in it and that's not really good for dry skin. So in the beginning I could use it. My skin is just really changing and um, I don't know, can't really, doesn't really feel good. My skin doesn't really like alcohol. So I don't know. I'm keeping this. I guess I'm just staring at the pretty bottle. Isn't that pretty? This was a limited edition bottle. This is a really good brand though. I believe it might be clean at Sephora. I really like Caudalie brand. So for now, this is just going to sit here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I want to be able to use it, but I don't think my skin likes it. So here's another one. I was going to buy the limited edition one, but I saw they had a smaller one. Save some money and see if I like the product. It was the Chantecai Pure Rose Water. See, this is just a simple thing. Let's see if I could spray it. Yep, it smells like roses. It's not irritating. It's more of a lighter. See, the mister is better. Let me spray it on myself. So there is kind of like droplets that may mess up your makeup, but I believe, I don't know, it has, it doesn't say anything on the bottle like what the purpose is. So I don't know if it's for moisture or just the rose water and I don't know if you can spray it on your makeup, but I just did. Anyway, so I'm still trying this out. Right now I'm like, hmm, meh. Here is an old product I just finished, and this is a good brand. It's Image Skincare, and I got this from my dermatologist a while ago. Vital C Hydrum Anti-Aging Serum. So I can't remember how much it is. It is a good C serum, um, but I am not going to repurchase it right now because I want to try something different. I like trying new things. But when I was watching Elle Leary the other day and she was saying like how some of the things that are important is um, retinol, vitamin C, and niacinamide. I think those were three of the things that she said was really important for your skin. And so I need to figure out how I'm going to work those items into my skincare and what brand I'm going to pick. You know, it's a lot easier when you just have a skincare system and they give you step one, two, three, and you just use those steps. When you're putting a system together yourself, it's kind of overwhelming. And you should watch Hot and Flashy's skincare 
routine and then Elleri just did hers so you have to be careful when you do stuff like that anyway I digress okay so here is a Chanel this is almost out it's the Hydra Beauty micro serum from Chanel I am so glad that I'm almost done with this I'm like meh meh so there's some other serums that I've been using from Chanel that I like better and I like to try new things so I'm not I want to show you this other product that I actually like better it's not a serum but to me it's more moisturizing this probably has silicone in it I mean a little bit of silicone is okay but let me go get the other product Hydra or Hydra Beauty Lotion I thought it was a lotion in hydration it says hydration protection radiance very moist so I thought this was a lotion but online when you chat with one of the Chanel advisors the advisor actually says it's a toner um, see if I can show you see you see that So, this is not a serum, but when I put it on, you put it on first after you wash, it's, it feels very moisturizing. It smells really good. So, I like this better than this, though they're not in the same category because this is technically a toner and this is a serum. But I'm glad I'm done with this one. On to the next item. So the next item, I finished up the Blue Eye Serum from Chanel. So this is a good product. I enjoyed it. It's, um, you know, it's serum is, is not, serum is more lightweight than um, an eye cream. So I like, I guess I kind of like a little bit of serum more than the eye cream, but not too... Dogs barking, but not too, um, not too runny. Ooh. We're having a barking contest. Chloe, you want to come and say hi? Come here, Chloe. Come here, Chloe. Come here. Come here. Come here. Chloe, say hi, Chloe. <laughs> you don't look comfortable, Chloe. You look so pretty in the camera. Okay, you want to go outside now? I'm going to let Chloe go outside. I guess that's the last product for my empties. It takes a very long time to get empties for an empties video. But I guess the other thing I wanted to say about what I'm doing for my skincare, I have three steps in uh, the skincare routine from clay to Poe. So sometimes I use that. And then I have enough steps in Chanel's skincare line that I use that sometimes. So I'll use the Clay de Peau line sometimes and then I'll use the Chanel sometimes and then I use the individual um, ingredients you know like I was saying like the essence, um, toner, toner or essence and serums and all that and you just put it together yourself but it's a little bit more complicated and oh what was I going to say the other thing I just used I had a sample of the Sunny Riley CEO and it's a it's a face cream but it has vitamin C in it so it's it's really thick so I had tried it before but my skin wasn't up to the thickness at that, that point but it really needs a thick moisturizer at night so I would never use this for my morning skincare routine it's way too thick it smells really good let's see you see that so it smells like oranges it smells really good so anyway I purchased there's two sizes on um, Sephora, I think there's 
it's kind of weird. I think there's a 0.5 half ounce size and then a 1.7 ounce. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Because that's, I don't know, the size, size difference is weird. But So I, point, I bought the smaller one because I may change my mind in the future and use something else. So, um, so I'm really liking this. It was really nice. The other thing that I got, let me just grab this. I'm all over the place. All right, because I'm trying to really hydrate my skin at night because it really needs hydration. And this one's really popular re recently. It's the Drunk Elephant F Balm, B-A-L-M, Electrolyte fa Water Facial Mask Hydrant Vitamin F Microbead Sodium PCA. So this is like, I thought this was a, a, supposed to be a nighttime mask. Um, yeah, overnight mask. So I tried this, and this is pretty good. Um, I guess I need to try it more. But I don't know, because my skin is just waking up. Um, I mean, in the past, when I would put something like this on my skin, I would wake up and I would still feel, um, it would still feel like more greasy so I don't know if it's just w wiping off or if it's just my skin is just soaking in these moisturizers but so I'm trying this one also so I will be switching between this one and the CEO but this one has vitamin C and I like the way this smells but the thing I like about this one though is it has a pump and that's one of my pet peeves I would rather have things in pumps than in jars like this. I'm not, I have to smell it again, it smells really good. I'm not too crazy about jars, but some products only come in jars. Maybe it's less expensive to make, but anyway, the sun was out just a minute ago, but no, it's just, looks kind of gloomy. I hope this was interesting. Uh, I felt like that for my last video. I felt like I was kind of all over the place in my last video. I definitely feel more relaxed in this video because um, nobody's home and um, they're not making noise. But if you like this video, please click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Be sure and hit the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.